boys and girls, my name is Miss Yates. Today we're going to be talking about sounds. Sounds are things that you hear with your ears. We're going to be looking first at a book called Hearing Things. And why are we talking about sounds when we're talking about reading? Because reading begins with your ears. It's about the sounds that letters make and the sounds that words make together. So in hearing things, did you know that you can recognize someone's voice? You can tell if it's your mom, your dad, or your grandma, even your brother or sister, even if you're not looking right in their eyes. You recognize their voice because your ear hears it and you know it. So sometimes you can hear things that are really loud, like a lion's roar. Sometimes you can hear things that are really soft, like a whisper. But if you know that voice and you know what they're saying, then you will understand it because your ears hear it. Sometimes you can hear things like an owl. And then sometimes you might hear the whoosh of a waterfall. We're going to talk about sounds more today, and we're going to talk about how those help us when we're reading. The first thing we're going to talk about is rhyming. Do you know what rhyming is? Rhyming is when you're listening to the end of words, not the beginning, but the end. And in rhyming, I have a trick that can tell you sometimes if those words rhyme. So if I said the word cat, say that word with me, cat. So if I listen to the first sound, I hear k, and then I hear at, k, at. So I'm listening not for the first, but for the ending. So if I have k, at, and h, at, cat, hat. What's my mouth saying when it's touching right here on my fingers? It's saying at and at. The at and at sound exactly the same? Yes, they do. So that tells me that that word rhymes. Let's try one more. Let's try the word pig. Say it, pig. Now then let's see if we can tell if it rhymes with wig. Say that word wig. So I have pig and wig. Well, if I want to know for sure if those rhyme, I can use my thumbs up trick. I can go pig, wig. Do ig and ig sound the same? Yes, they do. Kiss your brains if you got that correct. So we're going to look and I'm going to tell you about a story, and I want you to listen carefully for any words in here that might rhyme. One day, I walked into my classroom, and in the middle of the classroom, there was a brown box, and everybody wanted to know what is in that box. You would want to know too, I'm sure. So, as I was looking, we went over and we peeked inside and out, popped an ox. What is an ox? If you look, that ox looks a little bit like a cow, doesn't it? So I have an ox in my box. Do you hear any words that rhyme in that? I do. I hear ox and box. Do those sound exactly the same? Yes, they do. Well, that wasn't all that was in there. Next thing I knew, out popped a fox. Can you say that? Fox. So in my box, there was an ox and a fox. Now we know that ox and box rhyme, but what about fox? Let's try all three of those. Let's try box, b, ox. Let's try just the ox, ox, and then we have fox, f, 
ox. So my mouth is saying ox, ox, and ox. Are those all the same? Yes, they are. So that tells me that those words rhyme. So we're going to do one more, and I'm going to show you a picture of the sky. So we have our picture of our sky here. We have some green hills, some birds flying, and some clouds, so we'll know. So in our sky, one day I looked up and I saw a black fly. See the little fly? I'm going to put my magnet on him there to hold him up so you may not can see the whole thing. But I have a fly in the sky. Any of those words rhyme? Let's test them. Let's see if fly rhymes with sky. So we have I and sk I. So my mouth is saying I and I. Do both of those sound the same? Yes, they do. So fly rhymes with sky. And then I have a picture of a pie. Pie is my favorite to eat. So I have a pie in the sky. You may have heard people say that before. That's kind of a funny saying. But we have pie in the sky. And then we have the fly. And I wonder if that fly is trying to get to the pie. But we have fly, sky, pie. Do all of those words rhyme? Let's check them with our trick. We have sky, sk, I. We have fly, f, I. And then we have pie, p, I. So we have I, I, and I. Those are all the same, so that tells me that all of those rhyme. Seeing the picture of the pie made Miss Yates hungry this morning. So now we're going to talk about the way that there's words that make up sentences. Sentences are made up of words. Words are made up of sounds. And we, all, we hear all of them. So I'm going to give us some sentences, and I want you to echo after me. Say, the dog barks. Say that. The dog barks. I want you to say it again while I draw some lines on the board. This just helps our brains remember it. The dog barks. Say that with me. I want you to point to the dashes for me. The dog barks. Now I want you to use your brain and I want you to think which one of these would the word dog, where would it go? The dog barks. You should have pointed to the middle circle, the one in the middle. The dog barks. Very good. Let's try another one. So let's try the baby cries. Say that. The baby cries. So I have the baby cries. Say that with me. The baby cries. Where would the word baby be in this sentence? Would it be in the first, the middle, or the last? It would be in the middle. The baby cries. So that sentence has one, two, three words. One more, and I, Ms. Shates is going to give you a harder one this time, so I want you to listen carefully. The brown cow moves. Say that. The brown cow moves. So. You say it, and I'm going to draw the lines. The brown cow whoops, moves. Say that with me. The brown cow moves. So that one doesn't have three words. Let's count how many it has. The brown cow moves. So I see four. So we have four words in that sentence. So where would the word brown be? So I have to use my, my thinking. The brown cow moves. 
Where would brown be? Point to the line. Very good. It would be number two right here. The brown cow moos. Have you ever heard a cow moo? So we're now going to look at just a couple more things. We're going to look at words. So we've talked about rhyming, we've talked about sentences, and now we're going to talk about words. And did you know that words sometimes are put up of, made up of two different words put together? I might have the word cowboy. And if I put those together, I would have cowboy. Then I might have the word tooth brush. If I put them together and say them quick, what would I have? Toothbrush. Let's do one more. Let's do fireman. If I put them together fast, I would have firemen. So we have, sometimes we have two words put together and they make one word. Well, boys and girls, we're almost finished for today, and the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to give you something that I want you to remember to tell your teacher in your next lesson. We're going to talk about the itsy bitsy spider. The itsy bitsy spider is something that I used to hear all the time when I was a little girl, and it has some motions that we're going to do. The itsy bitsy spider. My hands are kind of supposed to be looking like a spider. The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. Now I want you to try to say that with me. The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. So what do you think happens to the spider after this? Well, I want you to think about it and you tell your teacher next time you're in small group. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next episode.